Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about the functional ultrasound coming down the pipeline, the non-invasive brain surgery option. Um, so what could you maybe give us some insights into functional ultrasound and what you know? Yeah, so my brief knowledge on it, um, hopefully there will be more to come, even learning from here uh, in Vancouver, is you know, it's, it's appealing, right? It's non-invasive. I don't have to have anything drilled into my brain. They just set me up. They shoot in the ultrasound, and ideally, you know, magically, I'm better. Now, what actually is occurring is a focal ultrasound. So based on the trajectories of how they're pushing this ultrasound in your brain, it ca their argument is it causes minimal damage, really no damage, to any of the structures prior. But that intersection point of all the different vectors of ultrasound exaggerates, and basically it heats up, and you're it's essentially like a laser that pinpoints that particular area and structure and then ideally your symptoms go away. So as far as the technical components of how they figure out exactly what spot in the STN, VIM, or thalamus to target, that I am not familiar with, but that's their goal is it is essentially it's an ablation of that particular site, meaning they kill that tissue. Now. Again, you can argue, okay, that's great, non-invasive, boom, it may fix my symptom immediately. But as we know and as you all experience, this is not just a disease of the brain. This is a systematic problem. And there's a lot more going on than just killing one spot. So I think it is a good alternative um, as far as long-term benefit. It's too new to say. So I think it's a great other alternative for people that maybe can't have deep brain stimula stimulation. Maybe there's structural issues that don't allow them to have that point. Maybe focal, you know, focalized ultrasound is their best option at that time.